was raised as a Jehovah's Witness from birth, so I never knew anything different. They don't believe that Jesus is God. They uh, believe he was a perfect man, but that he could not save you. When I was nine, my mom had my youngest brother, Joe. We actually found out he had cancer when he was six, and they did several rounds of chemo, but he couldn't have the dose that they would recommend because of the blood transfusion issue. In the Jehovah's Witness faith, they don't allow blood transfusions due to the purity of blood. So he did come in and out of remission a couple of times, um, but eventually two years later when he was eight, he did pass away in our family's living room. I had already been having so many um, questions that weren't getting answered. God felt so distant. And after hearing what I had heard at his funeral about what they believe, that he just ceased to exist, that he was essentially asleep, I just couldn't believe that God would take a child and then put him in the ground, and that was the end of it. I knew God would never allow that. I worked at a campground resort and they had um, church services in their fitness room every Sunday. So I would ask for Sundays to work because I loved what I was hearing. When I started hearing more about the truth um, and I was sitting in that service, I actually had to leave the fitness room and I went into the office and I told God that I believed that um, I could be saved through Jesus if I just believed. And so that was the defining moment when I knew um, I had to get out. I struggled for um, a few weeks, maybe a month, um, on whether or not I was even going to tell my parents. They just lost their son. It was a very um, fragile time in their lives, too. I did tell them. They tried to get me to do homeschooling so that I wasn't in school. They thought maybe I was hearing the stuff from school. If I was going to be in their house, I had to um, be a Jehovah's Witness. And I said, no, I had to make a choice, my family or Jesus. And so I chose Jesus. And they um, asked me to leave their home. So I was on my own at the age of just barely 17. My lowest point was when um, I was at work one night. I had no money that day to buy anything for food, so I hadn't had anything since the night before. And I remember just thinking, what in the world have I done? What was I thinking? And I went out to my car, and I found 75 cents under my floor mat, and I went and I bought a Snickers bar, and I was like, this is it, you know, this is my life. I'm scrounging around for a Snickers bar to have for dinner, but I knew, I knew that I could not return. Looking back, I still can't really believe everything that happened. Um, it sometimes feels like it's someone else's life because my life has been so changed and so transformed that it's hard to believe that that was even me. When I decided to follow God, I knew I wasn't deciding to have a perfect life. And yet his plan for me was so big and so amazing. I wouldn't be here with Jonathan. We wouldn't have these three amazing children that we have had I not gone through that little stretch of time. I feel like we're missing out still to this day on memories with grandparents and I'm sad that they don't get to see the things that my kids are involved in. But I know that the one who truly matters is there. The small sacrifice that I'm making is for something so much bigger. My kids love the Lord 
And that wouldn't have happened had I not gone through what I went through. It's fun to celebrate Christmas now, not just because of all the fun memories that I get to make with my kids that I didn't have, but it's so much deeper than that. It's, I'm celebrating the birth of my Savior. Jesus is um, my whole world. He's my best friend. I sometimes wonder why he chose me. And then I realize it's not just me that he's chosen. He's chosen everybody. I think about my kids, like, wanting to open their presents a day early. Can we just open one? Can we just open one? And it's like, you were born with this gift in front of you, you know? It, it just depends on where you're at in your life when you decide to open it. But the gift is right there. It's like, why wait until Christmas Day? <laughs> just, it's one of those things you don't have to wait. Just open it. Just do it.